only 7% of medical students get this really high yield USMLE question correct. In this question, they're asking us which of the following is the best next step in management. And they've given us a bunch of answer choices, as you can see here. And these are all related to the carotid artery. So let's read through the question to see if we can come to the answer. An 81 year old woman presents for evaluation of intermittent right sided arm and leg weakness. She reports three similar episodes over the past six months, each lasting about one hour and resolving without residual deficits. She denies numbness, tingling, pain, left sided weakness, or speed changes. Medical history is significant for hypertension and coronary artery disease with stable angina. Current medications include low dose aspirin, lisinopril, amlodipine, and atorvastatin. She has a 40 pack year smoking history and drinks alcohol occasionally. Vital signs are within normal limits except for mildly elevated blood pressure. Cardiac examination reveals a grade 2 systolic injection murmur best heard at the right upper sternal border. A left sided carotid brew is present. Lungs are clear to auscultation. Neurologic examination shows intact cranial nerves, 1 plus deep tendon reflexes in the biceps and patella bilaterally, 5 out of 5 strength in all extremities, and intact pinprick sensation. Carotid duplex ultrasound demonstrates 52% stenosis of the right internal carotid artery and 88% stenosis of the left internal carotid artery. Which of the following is the best next step in management? It's likely not repeat carotid ultrasound in 6 months because again, she is symptomatic. This wouldn't meet her where she is at right now based on her severity. Increase the total statin to 80 mg daily. Again, she's having symptoms. I don't think about statin is going to make a big difference right now for acute symptoms. Perform carotid artery angioplasty with stenting. This could be possible. Let's keep that in. Perform carotid endotomy on both sides. She's only having symptoms on the right side of her body, if you remember. So it's likely the left carotid artery, and that is the one that's severely blocked. The right side carotid artery isn't as bad because there are no left sided symptoms. So I'm going to rule this out. And then perform carotid endotomy on left side only. So I think it's between these two. Since this patient is old and there is a thrombotic risk, stenting is going to increase the thrombotic risk. So the answer is going to be perform carotid endotomy on left side only. So yes, it's correct. And by the way, guys, if you want to start your USMLE prep for free, go to the link in my bio.